Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sound Blaster 1987 here with my first ever Ninja Turtles review. Today I'll be looking at the loyal subject, BSTAXN, which I can only assume means best action, assortment, Raphael. Specifically this is the one based on the, yeah, promotional material for the 1987 Ninja Turtles cartoon, the one that's all bright green and such like with a gold belt buckle as opposed to the cartoons. So, Obviously, dark hollow green with a silver bell buckle design. So, as you can see, Raphael is very faithfully represented here, complete with his red bandana and cartoon accurate red wrist, elbow and knee pads. So, included in this set are two swappable heads for Raphael, six swappable hands, his twin side weapons, the, yeah, holster for the side on the back of his shell is also a separate part of the package which you have to friction into place. You also get a shuriken throwing star and a scorpion from Mortal Kombat style throwing kunai rope spear minus the rope. Just in case you want Shredder to get over here. So, as you can see, Raphael is reasonably well proportioned, even if his neck's a bit skinnier than I would personally prefer. For size comparison, here is the 5 and a bit inch Raphael next to 7 inch McFarlane Toys Voldemort from the Harry Potter franchise, linked to my previous review of the description below. So, for articulation, Raphael has got a ball joint at the head, which is a little bit misproportioned and slightly malformed on my copy, so not much range of motion at the head without popping the whole thing off from a swappable head feature. Then you've got universal shoulders with a butterfly joint in the middle for sideways motion. There's also a, yeah, sort of faux ratchet up and down movement as well. Bicep swivel. Faux ratchet double elbows interfered with by the shape of the elbow pad detailing, which also reveals some unhealthy looking gaps in the sculpting below when bent too far. Then you've got more or less ball jointed wrists for the, yeah, well, universal hinges at least for expressive hand movement. And all you have to do to swap the hands is just gently pull them out of the socket and then pop back in the one you want to replace it with. Same with the head, although the head's a lot fiddlier to work with, I have to admit, with my copy at least. There are multiple joints in the torso, but sadly the sculpting of the front shell blocks half of them. So, there's uh, a slight wiggle room maneuvering thing on the rear shell component to get it out of the way. Then there is technically a mid-torso twisting and ab crunch type of joint, which again, the solid rubber sculpting of the front shell piece also blocks, I'm afraid. But you do have universal hips with a yeah, semi-ratcheted outward motion like so. And semi-restricted by the sculpting of the plastic front and back. Then you've got a yeah, five swivel cut, a loose hinge double joint on the knee, and universal or thereabouts ankle joints. No toe hinge like the McFarlane figures have, but that's to be expected of a smaller scale. And once you've taken the sigh out of Raphael's hands, be extremely careful yanking them out because they're extremely soft rubber and could easily tear in half if you're not careful. So just gently pull them out, and you can store them in these little pockets on the back of a shell when not in use if you want to. So that more or less concludes my review of Raphael from the BST AXN line. I have been Soundblaster1987, thanks again for watching. My next review will be the Ben K icon from Kamen Rider Ghost, followed after that by the Spider Lantern Ghost Gadget in a separate video. Till then, till all are one. Turtle power!